we come to you with the April 2024 edition of the Divine Word Missionaries Web TV News. You are welcome. I am Eunice Sabina Dola. We bring you stories from England, Panama, Vietnam, and Rome. In this edition, we also bring to you the interview with Fathers Eric Copper and Xavier T about the upcoming general chapter. And Brother Somene T. Douglas introduces us to the monthly Lexio Divina. Please stay with us. In the heart of Bristol, in St. Mary on the Key Parish, Father Sanjib Zaza, SVD, and 40 volunteers provided delicious meals to a group of needy people. The initiative was well appreciated by the recipients and the volunteers who made their lights to shine among the needy people living around the parish. In April, the meeting of the provincial and regional superiors of the SVD and the coordinators of the characteristic dimensions of the Panam Zone was held in Panama. The meeting was an opportunity to evaluate the missionary activities in the zone and to discuss various issues and problems of common interest in the zone. Father Jose Antunes, Vice General, participated in the meeting. The SVD province of Vietnam has organized a number of activities in preparation for the general chapter which will be celebrated in less than two months' time in NEMI. These activities include Lexio Divina, reflection on the general chapter documents, days of prayer in the various communities of the province, and local and provincial chapters. The members of the Second International Preparatory Commission met in Rome in the second half of April to gather the reports of the SVD provinces, regions, and missions on the theme of the general chapter and to produce a working and reflection document before it is approved by the members of the general chapter during the general chapter. We continue the series of interviews on the general chapter. This time, we bring you the interviews with Fathers Xavier T. and Eric Copper, interviewed by Father Modest Munimi, the general coordinator of the communication and his team. In Europa, la gente ve que nosotros somos de diferentes países y vivimos juntos. Podemos vivir juntos. Y esta desunión, solitud, es... Eso es como un interrogatorio para, para esta, esta, estas personas. ¿Cómo ellos pueden vivir juntos y no se matan? Claro que so, suceden problemas, como, como siempre, eh, como puede ser entre las personas, pero vivimos juntos, trabajamos juntos, compartimos los mismos valores y es un, una luz para la gente, especialmente en, en esta situación política cuando se crea la división, cuando se divide las personas y cuando se usa el tema de los migrantes para espantar, para, para crear enemistad. Eh, y eso, eso es una de las respuestas. Particularly when it comes to interreligious dialogue, we not only have centers, but you have also qualified persons and you have made a definite impact in bringing about uh, interreligious uh, peace and uh, reconciliation in uh, times of uh, conflict, be it in India or Indonesia. For instance, in Indonesia, I visited a certain area. Our conferers are uh, worshipped as heroes for the effort they have made when uh, the big conflict between the two religious communities, uh, you know, uh, flared up. And uh, there are instances like this where not only theoretically in terms of uh, interreligious dialogue or prophetic dialogue, we have contributed, but also concretely in bring about uh, peace and reconciliation, especially in moments of uh, interreligious tensions and conflicts. We have done a good job in India, in the Philippines for that matter, when, uh, you know, Still, there are situations or areas where this conflict still persists, and that's where we need to continue to 
do not only the same thing but more creative way we need to address this situation so that we can bring about a better impact in such situations. We now invite you to pray with us for the 19th general chapter of the SVD and afterward to follow the Lectio Divina proposed by Brother Sumanetti Douglas. No paraíso perdido do mundo e dos corações a luz do verbo divino trazendo sentido às nações a voz do além nos chamando para colaborar na missão de construir desde agora o reino da libertação. Fiéis e criativos, discípulos de Jesus, no mundo ferido brilhe aos We thank you, O Triune God. You give light. You are light. You inspire light. We contemplate with our founder, St. Arnold Jensen. How merciful is God's love that has opened the light of my eyes, and now I should enlighten others as well. Illumine us to recognize the wounds that need healing. Inspire us to be faithful in our vocation and creative disciples in our mission. As we prepare for the next general chapter, accompany us in our journey together. Bless every member of our Arnoldus family. Blessed Mary, Mother of the Word, help us to deepen our commitment to Jesus, your Son, who asks us, Your light, must shine before others. Amen. Dear Confers, our fourth chapter reflection focused on the theme of faithful disciples, and the guiding biblical verse is Luke chapter 12, verse 42. Who then is the faithful and wise manager, whom the master puts in charge of his household servants? to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Reflecting on the question raised by Jesus, we should consider the whole pericope from verse 35 to 48, where Jesus is preparing his disciples to remain faithful after his death and resurrection. In another words, they are called to be faithful disciples to the mission and task which will be entrusted by Jesus. Jesus' question is very pertinent for us, religious missionaries who also are wounded and living in today's wounded world. It also directs us to examine our consciousness, where we could deeply reflect on ourselves, asking, what it means to be a faithful disciple? Am I wise and faithful, follower in managing and administrating the mission and tasks entrusted to me? The shadows and the woundedness of ourselves can mislead us to unfaithfulness. How do I overcome my experiences of unfaithfulness? What am I doing to be faithful to the sense of belonging to the society? Probably one of the answers 
could be found in the beginning of the pericope on verse 35, which says, Be dressed for service and keep your lamps burning. As we approach the 19th general chapter, we may pray and examine our faithfulness to Jesus and His mission across the nations, cultures, and peoples. Thanks for watching the news. See you next month. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Eunice Sabaina Dola. We meet again next time.